Hi, I'm here today with uh, Esteban Arcaute, uh, and he's from at Walmart Labs. Welcome, Esteban. Thank you, Gregory. Nice to, uh, to be here. So Esteban, uh, you start out as a PhD in computational mathematics, and yet here you find yourself working in the data science team at the world's largest retailer. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about how you thrive as an academic and kind of what, why is data science different from other types of sciences? Okay, so I think I was at the, uh, the, uh, at the right place at the right time. Uh, so when I started my PhD in 2004, uh, th there was this field called algorithmic game theory that was just being, uh, uh, that was just blossoming in academia. And it was all about uh, digital auctions and digital advertisement. So I spent uh, uh, basically all of my PhD thinking about these problems. And uh, when I graduated, uh, the question was going to academia and having uh, uh, some, let's say, uh, theoretical impact uh, to the knowledge of the world, or w was it possible to apply this, uh, this brand new knowledge into, in, into some place? So I joined a startup uh, to essentially try to see, is there a way that these state-of-the-art techniques can make it into the mainstream as quickly as possible? And the answer was yes. And so uh, for me, the transition was fairly seamless because the techniques that I was using were still state of the art, but the impact was actually measurable in terms of uh, business processes being, uh, being more effective and in terms of products being enabled that couldn't be done before. But do you think data science has evolved in a way that's different from some of the other sciences uh, because it's evolved primarily in the business context and not in the university environment? That's exactly right. So data science, uh, I think that the term was coined by DJ Patil, who is now uh, the, if I can remember correctly, the chief data science, uh, uh, chief data scientist for the White House. Mm -hmm. And so uh, th this term was coined, I think, in 2010, maybe, something like that. So the, te the term is very new. So the, the nice thing about that is that data science in itself uh, encompasses a lot of uh, uh, academic disciplines that are very traditional. There's a lot of operations research, there's algorithms, there's statistics, there's experimental design. So in, its, in itself is not a new science. Mm -hmm. However, uh, data science is all about solving a specific business problem mm -hmm. with modern uh, uh, techniques uh, in a different way due to the availability of data that wasn't available and that was not there before and to the computing power that keeps on increasing. So I think we, it's pretty safe to say that just about every company now is an IT company and, and Walmart is, is no exception. Um, but the challenges that Walmart faces now are very different from the challenges that it may have faced, say, in the 1980s. Can you talk a little bit about how those challenges have, have changed? I think that the, the, the challenges are, are always evolving, right? Uh, that, that is uh, the, definitely the case. However, the mission is always the same. Uh, and, and I think that once a company has a very clear mission, which for us is essentially allowing people to save money to live, uh, to live better, then uh, the challenges themselves are, are just business as usual. It's something that you have to deal with. So an uh, example of, uh, of new challenges that everyone is, uh, is facing is uh, moving from uh, uh, um, uh, populations being living in the suburbs in the U.S. to starting to move back into urban areas. What does it mean? Well, that means that the, the formats of the stores are going to have to change, and everyone is innovating in there. Or customers are uh, uh, seamless, seamlessly shopping between uh, uh, their mobiles, their, their PCs, and also in stores. So now you have this omni-channel question of how to best uh, uh, serve your customer. But at the end of the day, for us, really is about the customer understanding what they want and being able to, uh, to, to do, good by that. Go, do good by them. There you go. Yeah, so um, it seems like over time the challenges have changed from primarily data collection to data storage to data analysis. Could you talk a little bit about how that uh, how that path has gone? Yes. Uh, so I, I remember when I was doing my uh, my undergrad uh, in uh, in the late nineties, my computer had uh, less than a gigabyte of uh, of disk space, not even RAM. Uh, so I, I remember trying to train a very small neural network to, to detect anomalies in, uh, in uh, uh, electricity delivery uh, 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 patterns, and it, it, it will take days to train that. Now imagine today, if, if you have any kind of, any kind of uh, consumer electronics, not even a computer, that has less than a gig of RAM or storage or whatever it is, you, you think that, that something's wrong, that, that you're back in the past. So that means that the, the data collection has been, uh, has been enabled by the uh, commoditization and, and, uh, and optimization of storage itself. Now, 
Once you're able to, to store your data, then the question is, what are you going to do with it? Well, you need the computing power to be able to, uh, to go and process it, but also you need the right interfaces to go and extract this data from where, wherever it is. So you have this innovation in, data si in, uh, sorry, in database technologies and, uh, and also in, uh, in uh, algorithms and computation. Now, once all of that becomes available to everyone, the question is, what do you use it for? So you have companies like, say, Tesla that are using that to do self-driving cars. Uh, you have companies uh, like, uh, like us that we're, we're trying to find out what is the most relevant product to show to a user given the, th the context that the user is in. And so the, the, the biggest uh, uh, innovation that we see in there is how to incorporate uh, expert business advice into the development of these, uh, of these technologies to be able to always solve a business problem and not just develop uh, technology for technology's sake. Esteban, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Gregory.